socialising the people and removing the Jews from society are the same thing. This is just a non sequitur. First you were talking about regulating the economy and how that's socialist, and now you're saying that creating an ethnostate is the same as socialism, which is the same as regulating the economy. It just doesn't make any sense. Lenin and Stalin had their revolution, their holocaust, where they murdered the kulaks and the bourgeoisie. Churchill killed all the people in India, so also a big socialist. Because to form Marx's workers' paradise, you must socialize the people, remove the bourgeoisie middle class from society. So now you're saying that any kind of us versus them thinking is socialism? What if you don't like socialists? What if you are the capitalist government of Indonesia and you kill up to a million communists to remove them from society? Since you are killing people and you're engaged in this us versus them type of thing, does that make you socialist? Was the act of rounding up and killing all the socialists, was that in and of itself a socialist act? Hitler didn't outcompete them in a free market, right? Hitler socialized the state and used that to remove the Jews from society. If Hitler's not a socialist and he didn't socialize the people, then he doesn't remove the Jews from society. Hitler's socialism was his racism. This is just so incredibly stupid. This is stupid on such a profound level that you might not even grasp it. So whenever somebody wields state power to kill people, that's somehow socialist. How? So after the Finnish revolution had been crushed, right, the capitalists round up all the people, uh, 100,000 people who they suspect of being sympathetic to socialism, they round them up, they put them into concentration camps, they kill half of them. Have they socialized the state or whatever it is you said? So those of you who deny that Hitler was a socialist, you're actually denying the Holocaust. It, it just keeps getting worse. It just keeps getting worse. So wait, I really have to think about this. Believe it or not, but it is not at this moment in time readily apparent to me how I'm denying the Holocaust, because I, I don't think I am. Those who say Hitler was not a socialist are denying the Holocaust. Can you give me like a hint? I'm not very good with riddles. Yeah, I'm gonna need a hint or something, because I, I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. Those who say Hitler was not a socialist are denying the Holocaust. So, like... Huh? I, I really... I'm sorry, I really tried. I couldn't figure it out. And now you know why I'm standing my ground on this. Marxist Holocaust denialists refuse to accept Hitler's socialism. What on earth? What on earth is this? Stalin painted Nazism and Fascism as the same thing, the end stage of capitalism. Not necessarily the end stage of capitalism, it's just that it was one form of capitalism in crises. So when capitalism goes into crises, it can go fascist. But capitalism can go into crises and even collapse without going fascist. This was supposedly proof that capitalism was failing, and thus the world's socialist paradise was just around the corner. So are you gonna deny that capitalism globally was failing during the Great Depression? There is the Great Depression, a World War II sparked out of that, and are you actually gonna say that, oh yeah, capitalism Capitalism today is facing absolutely zero problems. It's working fantastically. No problems. Great Depression. Who cares? World War II. No biggie. It's working fabulously. No problems whatsoever. One of the biggest crises of capitalist history and the most destructive war in human history. Which means that everything that is National Socialism or Fascism must be explained as capitalism. You've got it backwards. He just looked at Germany when it went into the Great Depression, and then out of that crisis, they implemented fascism. A government with a capitalist economy that used 
extreme dictatorship to crush the workers and thus protect this capitalism. He saw that Nazi Germany had a capitalist economy, and he saw that it was trying to cope with the Great Depression. There is no great mystery here. It, it's not some really crazy theory or something. It actually is very logical. Go on then, Marxists. Explain to me. How did the free market result in the Holocaust? Tell me which private business owned and marketed the Holocaust. You're making this almost too easy. How did the free market result in the Holocaust? Well, we already covered that earlier in this video. The falling rate of profit first led to the Great Depression, Great Capitalist Collapse, which led the German capitalists to turn to fascism to protect themselves. I mean, there you go, you have Hitler in power killing Jews, and the same falling rate of profit pressures them into colonial conquest, and so they take over Europe, they start killing Jews there too. And which private business owned and marketed the Holocaust? Well, how about fucking IG Farben, the giant chemical uh, conglomerate that produced all the gas they used to kill people? I used to have a summer job in a pharmaceutical company, so I'm familiar with the names of all the German pharmaceutical companies, and a bunch of them were involved in the Holocaust. I mean, another example, take Ford, Henry Ford. He used slave labor from concentration camps for his profits. Or, another very relevant example, look at the good old military-industrial complex. Look at the Krupp weapons manufacturers, who were certainly very happy to be getting huge contracts from the government buying weapons from them. This is why... Holocaust denialist laws exist because Marxist Holocaust denialist historians cannot explain the ideological reasoning for the Holocaust. I only explain the economic reasons why it happened. The ideological reasons, of course, if you want to be an imperialist and attack other countries and whatnot, then you're going to have to have racism or at least very virulent xenophobia. Nazism, of course, being an extreme, extreme version of that. It also has, you know, very petty bourgeois conspiratorial mindset. Anti-Semitism, of course, is a very old thing. Hitler didn't invent it. In fact, the Nazis got most of their anti-Semitic conspiracy theories from Russian monarchists and Russian white guards who fought against Bolshevism. That's why they kept calling the Bolsheviks Jews, because they got all those conspiracy theories from the Russian white guards. But somehow it's the Bolsheviks' own fault, I guess. National Socialist, Holocaust denialists know it's happened. They're National Socialists. They want another Holocaust to happen. They want to remove the Jews from society. What they're doing is trolling the Marxist historians. I'm having such a hard time understanding what he's saying. I have literally no clue. They're saying, look, look, there's a huge flaw in your argument here. And the Marxists can't plug the gap because in order to plug the gap, they would need to admit that Hitler wanted to socialize the people. Even as I'm looking at this fucking graph here, it's, I don't understand. What is this? Like, I'm worried. I'm worried for you, Tick. Like, I'm actually worried about your sanity at this point. Look at this image. Marxist socialists, national socialists, non-socialists. Then in red it says, remove the Jews from society. What? Remove the Jews from society. And they can't do that because that would be an admission that National Socialism was real socialism. I don't see how. I just don't see how. Like, I, I don't have a problem admitting that Hitler wanted to kill all the Jews. I don't understand how that makes him a socialist. Maybe I'm just stupid, but I, don't, I just don't see it. I've never heard a more bizarre argument than saying, if you don't think Hitler was a socialist, that means you are a Holocaust denier. Or, if you think that Hitler killed Jews, therefore he was socialist. Like, look up the definition of non-sequitur. If you don't think that hamburgers are blue, then it rains outside. To admit that would undermine their entire ideology. It would place Hitler on the far left of the political spectrum. This has to be a joke. Like, this literally has to be a joke. Like, you, you, you have got to be kidding me. I refuse. Like, it just, kept, it, it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. Like, it, this has to be a joke. Look at this image. Like, this, this can't be real. This can't be real. Group. Triani. 
individual and then a dollar dollar sign and the liberty the statue of liberty like <laughs> this can't be real or it would place marxism and socialism on the far right of the political spectrum i'm sorry i hate doing this like i hate doing these videos where i'm just freaking out and laughing and crying but i just i swear it's not my fault i'm i'm sure you i mean i'm sure you can relate i'm sure it was a similar experience to all the other marxists watching this wherever hitler goes Marx goes to. I feel like I'm listening to the rantings of an actual, like, crazy person. And this they will not allow, because if people realize the true nature of socialism, total state control of the economy and people, totalitarianism, how can these Marxists call for the holocaust of the middle class, the bourgeoisie? They can't. Me, yeah... I guess you're right, we can't. That totally makes sense. You, you totally swayed me at this point. I have no idea what you just said, but... Anything that doesn't fit the Stalinist view is rejected, distorted, or ignored. Oh, Hitler believed in the socialist concept of the shrinking markets. Better ignore that and not tell anyone about it. Oh yeah, all those Stalinists who control academia. Like, this can't possibly be real. This can't possibly be real. I know he made a follow-up to this, and I swear, if the follow-up says something like, Oh yeah, that previous video was a troll, like, I'm gonna forever see Tick as the greatest hero in the history of mankind. Forget freedom of speech, and forget the very theory of history itself. Just bow down to Big Brother Socialism, and smear and slander away. How can you talk about slander when all you're doing is slandering Marxism? You're just calling like, oh, Marx was a Nazi, and if you don't think so, then you're a Holocaust denier. Like, this is so laughable. You are a fanatic murderer and a thief, but don't slander me. There's no discussion with a fanatic murderer and thief. Anybody who doesn't believe in the tax economy, or the social race, or the social class, or the social nationality, or the social gender, is clearly an unbeliever, a heretic. He's just like ranting at this point, there's no more like, <laughs> this has gone off the rails. It has gone off the rails. How dare you ask questions like, how is 100% taxation a fair wage? And how dare you state that printing money just leads to starving billionaires like in Venezuela? Listen, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let you cool off. I'm gonna come back, like, I'm gonna come back later when you, when you've calmed down, okay? Those who control the past control the future, and the Marxists control the past. Since the Cold War era, if not much, much earlier, socialists have invaded the universities and have been miseducating the youth. Think about it. Who writes the history books? What, what are you, fucking Hitler now? Like, are you, are you actually Hitler now? Are you gonna say that the Judeo-Marxists, like, control all the schools and everything now? I don't know what else you could say to make this any more crazy. Everything is socialist, and the only reason we don't know about it is because Stalinists control the education. What the fuck happened to you? What the fuck happened to you? I'm still skeptical. If this is actually satire, then it's the best shit ever. These socialized state historians and these socialized state academics, they're pushing a false narrative of history, a false narrative of the news, a false definition of the words we use in everyday language, like state. So, why don't they ever say anything nice about socialism or Stalin or the Soviet Union then? Why do they always say that those are bad things and bad people? They've invented the myth that the Great Depression was caused by capitalism. Um, the myth that the Great Depression was caused by capitalism, ladies and gentlemen. What was it caused by then? Pirates? Lollipops? And PlayStation 4 controllers? They've invented the myth that inflation is somehow good. I... who the fuck... Th I do consider myself quite the fucking Stalinoid, quite the socialist, and I have never in my life said that inflation is good, nor have I really heard any of my comrades say that inflation is good. In fact, I think inflation is bad, and socialist countries tend to have very low inflation. 
unless you are fucking Tito in Yugoslavia. So I have no idea what you're talking about. Despite the obvious flaw in their argument that the Holocaust couldn't have happened without socialism. Jesus Christ Almighty, have mercy on my fucking soul. That was so painful, oh my god. And there's still more to go. Wish me luck, comrades. Tick, I should make a disclaimer. I don't want you to be upset. I wish I could be more respectful towards this, but it's really hard. This video will inevitably be downvoted by the usual suspects. This video will undoubtedly be downvoted by all the Jews. Hitler wanted to socialize the people into a racial community, a Volksgemeinschaft, by removing the Jews from society. Holy shit. When I saw this video, like when I saw the title of this, How to Ideologically Undermine Holocaust Denialism, I actually thought that he meant how to ideologically undermine Holocaust denialism, but I think he means how to attack Marxists. I just realized it now, like based on what I just saw previously. My fucking god, what is this? The phrase socializing the people and the phrase removing the Jews from society mean the same thing. After watching all that, I'm like in this weird 1984 like dimension where things that don't really mean the same thing, they somehow mean the same thing. Repeat, socializing the people means removing the Jew. Like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Don't do this to me. If you deny one, you're denying the other. No matter how many times you say it, no matter how many times I hear it, it just doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't compute. Maybe it's because I'm Stalinist. It just doesn't fucking make any sense. I'm sorry, but it just doesn't. I don't understand. I truly do not. Most historians do not understand basic economics. The fact that he says, like, basic economics and, like, all these things, it really makes me feel like this has to be a troll. This has to be a joke, because he says all the mean things. Why don't you stupid Marxists just read basic economics? I truly believe that nobody unironically says that, let alone fucking Tick. Like, I, I know that he's a smart person. I know he reads books and everything. And he says shit like this. Like, it has to be a joke. I still can't be... I, I refuse to believe that this is real. Like, I'm gonna wake up and none of this will have happened. They have taken the Marxists at their word when they say... Hitler was not a socialist. You're taking Hitler at his word when he's saying he is a socialist. You have to be pulling my leg. They have taken the Marxists at their word when they say Hitler didn't socialize the people, meaning he didn't remove the Jews from society. Therefore, if you're a Marxist, you are a Nazi and you are killing a Jew as you're watching this video. Like, I'm just so, I'm just so emotionally drained after listening to this. Like, he just goes on and on repeating the same things over and over again. Like, if you are denying that Hitler was a socialist, you might as well be roasting a Jew in the oven right now. Like, why, 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 why do I have to do that? Like, why can't I just... Why can't we just have, like, nice things? Why do we have to do this? But if Hitler's not a socialist and didn't want to socialize the people by removing the Jews from society... I really feel like I've, I'm submerged in some kind of fucking nightmare. Like, I mean, I'm in some horrible alternate universe or something where things are all weird and crazy and nothing makes sense. So if you... 2 plus 2 equals 3, guys. If you deny the Holocaust, you're a Marxist, and, if you, and vice versa. Two pineapples on a plate equals Hitler was a socialist, meaning the, the Stalinist Nazi academia is turning the frog.